Food radiation is basically a method that uses ionizing radiation to kill germs and insects. By doing this, it will improve food safety and chef life by reducing or eradicating microbes and insects. Besides, nowadays it is confirmed that Food and Drug Administration approve the consumption of irradiation foods. Now, let's jump to the main part, advantages and disadvantages of food irradiation. The first advantage of food irradiation is destroying the food pathogen. Irradiation technique could reduce the foodborne disease by sterilizing and destroying the food pathogen including Salmonella, E. coli, Pemphilobacter, and Shigella. This technique also applied in hospital food. Next is phytosanitation. The irradiation method decreases the risk of importing or exporting the insect pest to the third, which is extending the chef life. Ionization radiation also helps in extending the life cycle of a product by delaying the fruit ripening and vegetables germination. We could see this technique is being used for potatoes, pig, and banana. The other advantage of food irradiation is reduced nutrient loss. Irradiation techniques have no discernible effect on nutritional value of the food since it applies cold food preservation that avoid nutrient loss because of the heat sensitivity. Lastly, the advantage of food irradiation is no chemical residue because during the process, the radiation eliminates the pathogen and parasite in the first place. Consequently, no pesticides are required, which means the food approach is chemical-free. Fresh fruits such as grapes and strawberries are some examples. Now, let's talk about the next point which is disadvantages of food irradiation. Firstly, radiation processing cannot be applied to all kinds of food. The irradiation process will alter the flavor and texture in dairy products and eggs. The radiation also causes minor changes in chemical makeup of the food. Next, food irradiation not effective on virus and toxins. Irradiating food does not get rid of the potentially harmful contaminants that are present in the food. Besides, the process of food irradiation does not eliminate the toxins that are generated by the bacteria. The third disadvantage is irradiation food may form radiolytic products. When radiation used to sterilize food, they may produce chemicals known as radiolytic products. Through the use of primary and secondary radiolysis effects, it is possible for the food that has been exposed to radiation to undergo chemical changes. Moving forward to the next disadvantage, irradiation food reduce the nutritional content in the food. There are four vitamins that have been found as being particularly sensitive to irradiation which are vitamin B1, A, C and vitamin E. Last but not least is public concern about irradiation foods. Consumers regularly reject genetic modified organisms or known as GMO and irradiation foods. Now we have reached the end of the video. In a nutshell, there are many advantages and disadvantages to be considered for this food irradiation technique. It's because we as a consumer, we want to ensure the best quality and safety of the food before we consume. Food irradiation has shown encouraging results in prolonging the chef life of fruits, vegetables and many more by preventing the insect infestation and microbiological degradation. On the other hand, taking the disadvantages into account, today's technology should assist the process of food irradiation to grow more sophisticated and lessen the risks associated with it.